Chris, thank you. We are tracking a developing story out of Lexington right now. Tensions are running high among some city council members tonight. City leaders have waited months for a report about moving City Hall to Center Point, and today those results came in. But some members of council say they still have many questions for the consultants. Our Garrett Weimers live in downtown Lexington. And Garrett, what exactly are council members concerned about? Council is in closed session now, but before that, it was very heated. The bottom line, that report gave five different options. The consultants called three of those five options high viability. Those were the transit center site, the convention center site, and yes, center point. The report was supposed to show where Lexington could put a new city hall. Consultants say the city needs 180,000 square feet to be able to consolidate government operations into one building. Now, one of the issues consultants say the center point site has includes the size of the office building. Under the current plan, the report also says a government subsidy, subsidy would be needed for underground parking below center point. There are several issues, but the consultants say there are also opportunities there. Obviously, this is a great site. It's a great location. It's right in the center of town, and there are clear benefits from an economic development standpoint of getting center point as a development kick started. As I mentioned, the work session got heated. There was a lot of debate over whether information that was being released should be released. That turned what was expected to be a presentation into a contentious discussion about what's been a controversial topic here in Lexington for years now. And we'll have more from the inside the work session coming up tonight at 11. Live outside the government center, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Uh, Garrett mentioned five options for the relocation of City Hall. The reports to medium viability sites are the Lexington Herald Leader site and the downtown block where the library currently sits.